People of Jerusalem, run through your streets, look around, see for yourselves. Search the marketplaces. Can you find one person who does what is right and tries to be faithful to God if you can, the Lord will forgive Jerusalem. Even though you claim to worship God, you do not mean what you say. Surely the Lord looks for faithfulness. He struck you, but you paid no attention. He crushed you, and you refused to learn. You were stubborn and would not turn away from sin. Then I thought, these are only the poor and ignorant. They behave foolishly. They do not know what their God requires what the Lord wants them to do. I will go to the people in power, talk with them. Surely they know what their God requires, what the Lord wants them to do. But all of them have rejected the Lord's authority and refused to obey him. That is why lions from the forest will kill them. Wolves from the desert will tear them apart. And leopards will prowl the streets of their town. If these people go out, they will be torn to pieces because their sins are numerous. And time after time, they have turned from God. Why should I forgive the sins of my people? They have abandoned me and have worshiped gods which were not real. I fed my people until they were full, yet they committed adultery and spent their time with prostitutes. They were like well-fed stallions, wild with desire, each lusting after his neighbor's wife. Shouldn't I punish them for these things? and take revenge on a nation such as this? I will send enemies, cut down my people's vineyards, destroy them, but not completely. I will tell them, strip the branches away. For well, those branches are not mine. They are not mine. People of Israel and Judah, you have betrayed me completely. 
I, the Lord, have spoken. <laughs>